Hello, active traders, and welcome to Trader Turnaround Tips. This is Ken Calhoun, your host, president of the original Day Trading University, Swing Trading University, Trade Mastery, and dozens of other sites. I wanted to thank all of you for being here and learning some strategies for hopefully beating a trading slump, turning things around, and pick up some useful, actionable, practical ideas that you can start using immediately. As always, all information is for educational use only. I'm not making advice about what to buy, sell, or hold. By watching this, you agree not to make actual trade. Trader turnaround tip. Trading is a lot like making a phone call. No matter how well-intentioned you are, and no matter how hard you work at it, my point in making this analogy is you need to be armed with strategies that actually work. That's the agenda for tonight. Let's jump right into it. These are all relatively small size trades, right? Here I made 1700 bucks with trade sizes all down in most of them under 100 shares, right? Still in the money, $1,700 on that day, itty bitty share size. So make sure that one of the turnaround tips that you're internalizing is that trade different instruments, test faster exits. Another thing is focus on wide clearer charts that have the strongest patterns. If you're in a good winner, like we were in Delta today over the previous day's high, this is likely to be in play tomorrow and into next week because it ran up so sharply, a nice high open range breakout volume here today. This thing ran up over a point, did my classic Calhoun one, two, three step. That's where some, okay, now let's have a little fun. Explaining losses to family. That gets frustrating, eh? She just says, no, no. She says, you lost how much, you freaking moron? If you've ever been there, if you've gotten in the trading doghouse, can beg forgiveness and buy your flowers. So when that doesn't work and you're in a shouting match, here's what I like to encourage you to do. In the first place, stop losing so dang much. Look at the size of my stops. Anyway, so the, the flip side of it, when you start making good money as a trader, is you start telling the wife about it. She's going to want a piece of it, which is rightfully so. And you probably should you know, get her something nice out of your profits wire home some money each month. Once you start making it as a trader, I want you to pay yourself first and resolve to have a maximum stop loss from now on period. And what I want you to do is communicate that stuff to your family. So one of the things that you can do is if you can take this downstairs, do that, have some public accountability. That should help avoid the significant other getting upset at you because you stupidly, foolishly listened to some moron who said, they trade the E-minis and you too will be rich. Or day trade, you know, spread angle, legal options, blah, blah. Or go short penny stocks. Let's know, let me know how that works out there for you, Sparky. And you end up having these conversations with the significant other because you're learning from morons who can't even prove they trade. I want you to get smart and then get creative and have some public accountability to your family. And I really think that will help. You know, if it, at the end of each week. But let's say in this choppy market, the S&P has been chop city the last couple of months. Am I right? Then what you want to do is, start gradually cutting down on the share size that you're trading until you get to a place where you're breaking even. And then you can have permission to start going back up. It's a very good dynamic scaling approach. So get out of your losing trades earlier at the very first technical sign of trouble. And I gave you a couple of quick swing trading examples and be a little more intelligent, a little more sensitive, a little more focused in how you approach your entries and exits. Now I want you to keep visual track of all of your stop loss costs. You know, don't make it all exotic and fancy. That's not going to make you a better trader. What's going to make you a better trader is keep your stops tight, uh, scale into, not just let your winners run, but eagerly add to your winning trades. Make sure that you are giving yourself credit where credit's due, because odds are you are doing some things right. Well, make sure that your charts are ones in which you're testing to find out what are the cause-effect relationships. You know, if I see, you know, if then, you know, the example was, you know, I guess going back to that NOAA charts is a good example of any. If then, if, like I published in Stocks and Commodities November issue, if I see a nice tall momentum candle following a couple of narrow candles and I see this three volume breakout pattern, that's usually correlated with more buyers in the house. See, the trick isn't buying new highs. Any moron can do that. The trick is buying a high at a price that's likely to attract new buyers after you get in. Ah, oh, that's what it is, Ken. I'm glad you explained that to me. Not to state it any cleaner, Captain Obvious, but one of the things you really want to do is look for those patterns that actually make you money. There's no shame in getting knocked down. The shame is not getting back up again. So what you want to do is always not ask yourself if you can make it as a trader. 
but ask yourself how you're going to make it. And to turn around, you really need to re retrace or retrench by going back. You know, once you get it as a trader, you know, it's like having the time of your life because you own the charts. You, you own, you, you know, you know pretty much what's going to happen based on your pattern recognition skills. And so, the challenge, at least my challenge is just when to get in, when to get out, what kind of size to put on. Uh, if it's worth trading, I've already solved. Where it's worth trading, I've already solved. It's just a matter of what kind of size and what kind of timing to use and the trade management skills. And so, it becomes a different set of questions that as an intelligent professional trader, you answer for yourself then what and then start building from there build from a position of personal strength personal trading power so make sure you're doing things that make sense so anyways that's it that's all folks bd we're out this is ken calhoun trade mastery hi traders i hope that this preview has shown you some valuable tips to get you started go ahead and place your order now for the complete trader turnaround tips high resolution video download at trademastery.com today Thanks so much and best wishes for successful active trading.